it's Kikaboo! Welcome to Club Kikaboo. We are so happy that you're here. Miss Mandy, can we introduce our friends to Octavia? And Chico. And Walter. And then show them dinosaur fossils. And rocks. And shells. And bugs. We can show them all of those things. Come on. Yay! Let's Kikaboo. Let's introduce them to Octavia. Octavia is a tarantula, which is a very big spider. Is this another tarantula? What? Miss Mandy? Yeah. Did a new tarantula move in? I don't think so. Look. Oh, no, that's just Octavia's outer layer from when she molted. Uh, molted? Yeah. What's that? Molting is when an animal has to shed its skin to make room to grow. I thought molted was a milkshake. <laughs> you look good in your new skin, Octavia. See ya. Let's kick a boo. Kick a boo. Oh, hey, I want you to meet my friend Chico. He's a chinchilla, and he loves to make new friends. But he looks kind of busy right now. Yeah, he's taking a bath. A bath? Yes. But there's no water or bubbles or toys. Chico takes a bath that's just for him. It's with mm. sand. It soaks up all the oils in his fur. Hey, Chico, what's your favorite part about bath time? Is it rolling around in the dirt? Yeah, mine too. Oh, I should probably give you some privacy. I'm sorry. Let's kick a boo. Hello there, corn snake. Have a slithery day. Let me show you one of my favorite things, the rocks. I love rocks so much, I even have my own rock collection. At Club Kikaboo, we have lots of cool rocks, like, ugh, look at this one. It's a geode. <laughs> Kiki, come check this out. Okay, coming. I'll rock and roll right out of here. Let's Kikaboo. Hermit Crab is on the move. This is my friend Walter. He's a bearded dragon, and he's from Australia. Good eye, Mike. And they call him a bearded dragon because he has some scales on his chin that look like a beard. And when he gets really mad, he puffs out his beard like this. <laughs> like that. Isn't that right, Walter? Bearded dragons also like to sleep a lot, so Walter likes to take lots of naps. Huh. Well, you probably want to get back to your sleep now, don't you? Huh. Good night, Walter. What's up there? Let's kick a boo. Look at that stick bug. It's a walking stick bug. Whoa. Huh. Miss Mandy, what is that? Let me give you a hint. If you had one, you would brush it every single day. Is it a giant strand of hair? No. Good guess. Let me give you another hint. Yeah. You use it to break up food. <gasps> oh, oh, is it a humongous fork tine? <laughs> oh, um, Kiki, yeah. what's a fork tine? Oh, it's uh, one of the po pokey things on a fork that you use to pick up your food. Uh, but that's not important right now. OK. <laughs> Good guess. It is not a fork tine. Let me give you another hint. If you lost this, you might put it under your pillow. Are you telling me that that's a tooth? Mm -hmm. But this is actually a tooth fossil from 65 million years ago from a T-Rex dinosaur. That's it's one of, one of the biggest meat-eating dinosaurs to ever roam the land. Wow. Yeah. Just imagine, 65 million years ago, there was a T-Rex with a loose tooth, and it wiggled and wiggled. And then one day... Booba! Yeah? <sighs> All this talking about teeth got me hungry. Oh, me you too. You wanna go get a snack? Uh-huh. Let's go. <laughs> Let's kick a boo. There's a blue poison dart frog. And a yellow poison dart frog. Oh, check this out. When I put my ear up to this shell, I can hear the ocean. <gasps> Miss Mandy? Is Booba really listening to the ocean? I think what he's actually hearing is the sound of air traveling inside the shell. Huh. Well, well, whatever it is, it sure is <laughs> soothing. Hey, can I try? Sure. Oh, wow. That's nice. 
Hey, Miss Mandy, where do shells come from? Shells are the protective outer layer of ocean animals, like snails and mollusks. Huh, protective outer layer. Like a, like a bicycle helmet, yeah. or a hard hat, <laughs> or, a, or an ice cream cone. Huh? Well, not quite like an ice cream cone. It's more like this is their shell and it keeps them safe. It's their home. Huh. Well, this shell looks like a real cozy home. I can imagine myself feeling really safe and warm and just taking a nice, long nap. Booyah! Yeah? Time to go. Okay, I'll be right there. I just have to do something real quick. I hope you enjoyed our tour of Club Kikaboo. There's so much to discover here. Oh, is the tour over? <gasps> Not yet. There's one last very special part of Club Kikaboo. There is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. All right. It's you! You might not have a tarantula like Octavia. But there are a lot of awesome creepy crawly bugs in your backyard. And giant crystals can be hard to find. Mm -hmm. But I bet you have some really cool rocks where you live. Oh, you could even start your own rock collection. Yeah. Take the time to explore. Look at nature all around you. Be curious. Ask lots of questions. And use your imagination. And join Kiki, Booba, and Miss Mandy here at Club Kikaboo. Let's Kikaboo!